so in my cold showering every morning, right? Like what, what is that actually doing then? So it's, it's the stress, it's creating a particular kind of stress. So it's mm. the cold, the, the change, the drastic change in temperature is picked up by the immune system and our metabolic systems as well. This is, this is not normal. This is a change to our homeostasis. And so that, that sort of detection of that change puts us, triggers these systems to be like, okay, we need to up our game right now because we are facing the stress. How can we become really efficient right now and, and make sure that we protect ourselves and we use all of the possible homeostatic processes to get back into balance? That's so fascinating because you know the, the whole thrust of modern life and especially around consumerism is about the creation of comfort and ease, right? I mean, that is its dominant, that is its dominant narrative. Like how do we make your life more comfortable convenient, easier. And it's, and I, and I always tell my students, look, do not make comfort the goal of your life because comfort is death. And, and what you're doing is like pointing out, showing or revealing the underlying biological reality of what happens when you make comfort death, right? And, and, or when you make comfort the goal of your life is that it, creates this imbalance that, that um, eventually results in, in kind of disease processes, right? I think you're spot on. I mean, mm -hmm. exactly comfort literally in this case equates to death because it, it sort of sets our system so off balance that, you know, our muscles now uh, don't have the ability to detect, um, to be able to take in the glucose that you're putting in through your body because the insulin sensitivity has gone down, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so our blood sugar levels rise and that blood increased blood, unregulated blood glucose then again triggers sort of the inflammation in the body that produces a thickening of your arteries that leads to heart disease and stroke. Um, the unregulated um, sort of growth. So again, when you have that imbalance between the growth and the repair and restoration, um, it's this kind of unregulated growth, especially of damaged cells that there's a starting point for cancer. Uh, and then when it comes to the neurodegenerative disorders like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and so on, um, you know, one of, one of the key factors is that we are not sleeping enough and sleep is one of the most important times for this kind of um, recycling and waste collection from our cerebrospinal fluid uh, and removing, you know, sort of the waste proteins from our brain cells that accumulate if that doesn't happen. Um, and, and yes, and underlying all of this is our, is sort of our uh, modern lifestyle where it's just all about comfort, right? Like how can I lay in bed and use my technology <laughs> uh, and not move anything and, you know, have everything ordered in prime time uh, at my doorstep. 